Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Just peachy! Oh, my gosh. That, that took tasteful. four takes. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, and I'm here to cook up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, which is my wonderful, beautiful, lovely wife's cooking blog that has well over 400 recipes and rising. And one of the recipes on the side is what we're going to do today, and it is an easy peach crumble. Now, we are getting this recipe from, nope, not a gooseberry patch recipe today, folks. This is straight from crock pot. Now, some people have a slow cooker that's not made by a crock pot, and they still call it a crock pot. Well, today we're actually going to use a crock pot crock pot, or I guess we want to say a crock pot slow cooker, and we figured we'd do it with a recipe straight from crock pot themselves. My wife got me a new book, but everybody. To, but to clarify, dear, yes? it doesn't matter what brand your slow cooker is, you can still make this recipe in it. If you don't have a crock pot slow cooker and you've got, like, say, I don't know, a Cuisinart or a Ninja, wow. Or even one of the West Blend, West Bend ones. Then you are you so cook with bad it. about that. It burnt me. Those slow cookers are just fine. It they was are good totally slow cookers. User error. I'll give you that one. <laughs> but anyway, here we go with a very quick, very easy recipe that's going to be making for an awesome dessert, breakfast, midnight snack, dinner. <coughs> Whatever you want to do with your food. But the recipe goes as follows. It says that you need eight cups of frozen sliced peaches that have been thawed and keep the juices. It says juice reserved. I'm not a very well reserved person. But uh, these bags have three cups a piece. That's nine. And I really don't feel like measuring out one cup and setting aside. In fact, that's okay because it just means more peaches. So you need three bags and they are 16 ounces. So three pounds of peaches. You also need what? It's a little writing, and she makes me take my glasses off. And you're getting old. And I'm getting old. So, what would you, you need three quarters cup of packed brown sugar that's been divided. You want to divide that in a one half cup and a one quarter cup because part of this will be for your peaches, part of this will be for your crumble that goes on top. You also need one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. <laughs> I think that's it. You need so. one tablespoon of lemon juice, which is optional. And another optional way to do it is she cut me a lemon in half and she said, squeeze it. So I'll squeeze it in the bowl here in a little bit. You need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and one half teaspoon of almond extract. Now my wife loves vanilla, but she likes almond more. And since I'm making this for her, we're going, I'm just going to make it one half tea or one teaspoon of pure almond extract and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. It kind of balances out, makes her happy, and she'll be feeling peachy about it. <laughs> and you also need one qu cup, one quick cup of oats. One cup of quick oats. But that's not quick oats. Or these are old-fashioned old -fashioned oats because we're an old-fashioned couple. Well, we like the way they taste better. They're not... Quick cut are more chopped up, and this is more whole. This isn't steel cut. This is old fashioned. No, not fashioned. steel cut. Old fashioned oats. We're going to taste a lot better than that, I hope. <laughs> oh. I need to stop you from eating the ingredients. We've had multiple incidents. <laughs> that would only taste good if you were a horse. Aw. <clears throat> Nay. <laughs> <laughs> You need one quarter cup. <coughs> That'll dry out. You need one quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, um, white sugar, this right here. And then you also need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of salt, right here. And then one half cup, which is also known as one stick, of cold butter that's been cubed. So wouldn't that be three sticks? Huh? One stick cubed would be three sticks. Oh my goodness. Okay, any math nerds yeah, out there with me laughing right now? Let's not confuse. Okay, folks. one stick, just one stick. Yeah. That would confuse a math nerd. 
Luckily, I'm not confused. <laughs> so the first thing we want to do is have a big bowl. And in this big bowl, no, the first thing we want to do, I'm sorry, is to take a cooking spray and coat the inside I told you. of your slow cooker. You're coating the... Um... <laughs> Of your camera and the lens of your eye. <laughs> Good enough. Oh. Okay, now I'm down to one eye. <laughs> That's okay, honey, because you're the one I love. Oh. Uh. Put your you want to take your bowl. peaches on the bowl? I might just have to have you read this recipe. Again. Take your peaches. Now, our mm. frozen peaches didn't have a lot of juice, but it'll be yeah. all right. It'll be all right. You know why? Because she said so. So there's two bags and then one more bag of frozen peaches, slightly thawed, right there. And then I want to add my juice mm -hmm. of a lemon right on there. Oh, oh. I'm so happy that it was the cooking spray that got in my eye and not that. Yes, I think you lost a seed. No, I lost two. They're right there. I see them. Yeah. <laughs> They're right there. Let me get that seed out. Um, here it is. Okay, we'll pretend like I found it and I threw it away. <laughs> okay, so we've done that. And then we put our juice, our one half cup of brown sugar. Yeah. Our, I hope this is cornstarch. Yeah. Our cornstarch. Oh, oh. I was going to say sprinkle it a little bit evenly over the top. Like that? <laughs> It'll be easier to stir. It's all right. What she said. It's okay. Speak up! <laughs> I'm an old man! Uh, combined peaches, juice, half cup of brown sugar, cornstarch, lemon juice if desired. Oh, a vanilla and almond extract. Got lemon juice over my hands. Oh, so man. one teaspoon a piece of vanilla right on the top and almond extract oh that smells good that's gonna it smells good for what's cooking behind me right in there that smells really good i like almond extract smell that <laughs> they're gonna kind of taste similar now but, and hopefully we're done with this because i just put it in there and stir them up Stir them up. Forgot to grab a spoon. I'll be back. Do you miss me? <laughs> Come on. Okay. So we'll put that there. And we'll watch Mikey make a great big mess. <laughs> I was kidding until I did that. Okay. You want to gently fold in everything. Stir it up until all the peaches are covered up. And I really understanding now why you told me afterwards that I should have sprinkled yeah. the, oh. that one I on my foot. I hope that one wasn't the cornstarch no, one. <laughs> but it went right on my foot and it's cold. <laughs> Alright, so everything's coated up pretty good there. My dog is now licking my toes. Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> All of the things that happen in this house. <laughs> so, our peaches are coated, covered with the stuff, and you want to put it in your slow cooker. And in fact, we're using a crock pot slow cooker today. Props to the crock pot company. You're gonna to wanna to scrape the stuff in there. That's the answer. Get all the sugar you can in there. Which it came out pretty I clean smell anyway. The I do yummy. too. Smells good. Get rid of that bowl. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Get stuff all over my hands. So, let me clean off my workstation here. Now you're gonna make your crumble. Now I'm gonna make my crumble. So I'm gonna take another bowl, a tater masher. No, that's 
Or is that not a tanner mask? That's a pastry cutter. It looks like one of those old time microphones. They can use four, two forks or knives to, but the whole point, or you could even use your hands to crumble it all together. But that helps you get the butter when you're ready for your butter step. We're not there yet. Honey. Well. You once, twice, three times a lady. Sorry, y'all. I was just trying to butter her up. <laughs> oh, wow. And I just stepped in the peach stuff again. <laughs> you Combine your oats, your flour, your remaining quarter cup of brown sugar, your granulated sugar, your cinnamon, and your salt in your bowl. And then you take your butter. I know I made the joke about cubed and all that, but actually you're supposed to cube your butter up. You can just lay it in there because you're I'm just pastry cut. Oh, 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 oh my. There. It's not now cubed. Now you're it's all hat. buttery. Oh. This needs to get washed anyway. Yes. So. <laughs> it just got baking spray on it. Okay. And then just cut it in. Yeah. That is going to make it easier for you to cut in. Yeah. It's a, bu it's a butter cutter. <laughs> it's a pastry That's, cutter. It's, well, I think it sounds cooler when you call it a butter cutter. <laughs> of course you do. Just like that. I think we're pretty much done with the book. Mm -hmm. So, let me see what I'm doing here. I'm just mashing into the butter. And kind of mixing everything up at the same time. My butter cutter is getting kind of clogged up. Is that okay? You can use your finger to... I was hoping you are going to come that. <laughs> Loosen that up. Usually what I end up doing is doing that till it gets molt or pretty much um, cut in there. And then sometimes I'll just hand um, crumble the rest just to make sure everything's mixed well. But if you crumble it up with your you hands instead of the butter cutter. You have to be careful not to cutter, warm it up. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to warm it up. But at the same time, if you use your fingers... For all that, I got a piece of butter stuck. There it is. And that just means it's going to get all over your fingers. <laughs> and then whatever shall I do <laughs> with it all over my fingers? All that sugar and brown sugar. Oh, uh-oh. What? My battery went dead. Is the camera dead? Or, wait. I don't think it's recording. No, it said switch battery. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my battery went dead on that camera over there. And we got her plugged in. And where I was going with this before was if you use your butter cutter or your pastry cutter, if you want to go politically correct about it, it's going to kind of clog things up after a while. After that butter starts getting all squished in with everything. So if you want to take it upon yourself, and I will for the sake of getting this recipe done, <laughs> I'm going to have to use my fingers and mix up the butter into the brown sugar and the granulated sugar and the oats <laughs> until it's all pretty consistent where you don't see any of the powdery stuff in the bottom. So, do it just like that. You don't want to work it so much with your fingers that you melt the butter because you want the little the little crumbly balls, I guess you want to call it. The crumbly chunks or clumps. Did you just take a picture? Yes, and I didn't mean for my flash to go off. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my life was flashing before my eyes. And she's right back uh, there. Oh. The only thing Okay, we, that's no, you're that, done. That's enough. Yeah, that's just, stop it! <laughs> That's what she was going to say. You're warming up your butter. So now, butter. Oh, don't warm up your butter. <laughs> um, now what? The butter. Shut, shut the book. Sprinkle it. <laughs> Sprinkle it on top. Yeah. So here's what it looks like when you're done. Kind of like that, sort of. And then just kind of... Crumble. Crumble it on top. <laughs> now we know why it's called that. <laughs> right over the top of your peaches. 
you know, I could just eat this out of the bowl just like it is. It's really good. I'm kind of clumping that up. I'm, this is a this is a peach crumble, not a peach clump. <laughs> so make sure that you get it all over all of it. It smells delicious. Yeah, that almond extract really brings a a good pop to it, a good smell, a good flavor. So now you've got it all crumbled up over the top. Yeah. Oh. That's a clump, not a crumble. Hang on. Okay. And then, let me ditch my bowl. And then, find the lid for this. <laughs> and you want to set this on high for? I think one and a half to two hours. One and a half to two hours. And then after one and a half to two hours, keep an eye on it. Right? Keep an yeah. eye on it. Always keep an eye on it. Especially if you're cooking something on high. Because high is hot. You want to get rid of your cookbook, don't throw it away, just move it over here. I will move this slow cooker out the way back here. Oh! oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I had this plugged in and I didn't mean to, or you plugged it in one. Oh, no! I can't bend this on you. You don't get to play with your buddy. <laughs> Sorry again. <sighs> we will get rid of that slow cooker and replace it with this one. And I love that handle. I will. Nope, it's just fine. Right. It's just fine and dandy. And then I will take, do I have a big spoon? I do like this great big spoon. And, oh. You stepped in your peach. There's a peach on the floor I missed. You would have thought you would have cleaned that up by now. You know, since you clean up things so much. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. It's brown and gooey up here. I wish I could put that smell in your living room or kitchen or office or bathroom. Wherever what? you're watching this and no. put that smell in there. Especially if you're in your bathroom, but you know, but it smells so good. So I'm gonna take some, I guess, from right here, and put in a bowl. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of it and put in the bowl. I'm gonna me a couple more peaches there. I haven't had dessert. We had dinner. We didn't have dessert. So. Look at that. Yeah, that smell. Oh, oh, that's hot. And so. Well, I really don't want to dirty up another spoon, so... <laughs> you be careful, that's going to be really, really hot. The smell of this is like the world's best peach cobbler or peach pie. So if you dig peach cobbler or peach pie, you're going to dig this. You think my dad might like it? The smell of... Oh yeah, her dad is, is a peach freak. He loves peach cobbler, peach pie. Um, he makes a really awesome campfire peach... Dump cake. Dump cake. And I've never, he'd never, in the years I'd known him, I'd never had him cook at all. He'd never cooked that I'd seen. And we went out to a campsite one weekend where they had been riding horses all weekend. And uh, he took a Dutch oven, put in the campfire, and then in there he dumped in a cake mix and a can of like peach uh, pie filling. And then he covered it up, covered the lid, put hot coals on the top of it. He put butter in there too. Butter's good. <laughs> Anyway, he mixed he mixed this recipe up, not this recipe, but the recipe they did. And when it came out, it was awesome, just fantastic. And this smells a lot like that. All right, I've talked enough. I think it's probably cool off. Mm. It's not crunchy because you didn't bake it. Um, we were having this debate. I was like, well, don't you think you should put it in an oven and bake the top and make it crunchy and crispy? And she's like, honey, you've had this before. It tastes just fine without doing that. I couldn't remember until she brought up the blog post and I did. And it's just fine. <laughs> um, the oats make it a little more chewy. They give it some body to it. The peaches are fantastic. They, they're really sweet. Of course, the brown sugar and the granulated sugar and everything mixing in there with it. Makes it super sweet. There's a syrup that's made. Um, as the peaches cook down, and I'm gonna have it. You could eat this with ice cream if you wanted to. I don't want to. The ice cream will probably cool it down a lot, so I'm not burning my mouth like this. But 
I'm more than happy burning my mouth like this. Mmm. That's fantastic. That's really, really, really good. I want another bite before I end the show. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to hurry because somebody wants your set. Oh, that's right. Miss Ad said y'all need to hurry up and get your taping done because she's getting ready to take over the kitchen and bake some cookies, so. <laughs> I bet you I could persuade her not to even think about cookies by giving her some of this. <laughs> oh, y'all, this is so good. You guys at your work might be upsetting you. <laughs> oh, woo! I didn't blow on that piece hard enough. <laughs> That's really good. We want to thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Another episode of Cook Up with Cookies. Mmm. How do I say it? We want to thank y'all for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. Uh, if you're digging what you're seeing, what we're laying down, then click subscribe. Silly, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, what's going on with you? Be a part of the family, the slow cooking family that we're just building up as we are. And uh, I just want to say something real quick, if you don't mind. She just made me edit it out if she didn't want y'all to hear this. But <laughs> when we first started this um, series uh, earlier this year, I set a goal, and that goal was to have a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. As of July 5th, I hit a thousand subscribers. So in half a year, I made my goal. And I wanna say I made my goal. I even wanna say that we worked together to make this goal. But you all are the reason that we had that goal made. It's because of you guys watching these videos, commenting, telling us what you like, what you don't like. Uh, that we're even doing this, and we greatly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we're doing it just for the simple reason that it's fun, and we get to do this together as a family. And um, for you guys to jump in on this and watch us and cheer us along the way just makes it even sweeter. Not quite as sweet as this peach crumble, <laughs> but pretty daggone close. Um, but yeah, we want to thank you guys again for subscribing. If y'all haven't done that yet, there's a red box down here. Subscribe. Also, check us out over at Facebook at Recipes That Croc, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy. And that's where we promo these videos, as well as show you some music and some other fun things from the family. So, y'all keep watching and we'll keep cooking and we'll keep making all these videos. Thanks again. Bye. I forgot the bowl on that one. <laughs>